Hello guys, today we're gonna look net configuration on Cisco Package Router. So net is basically net network address translation. So we are not gonna have a look at our uh, theoretical part. So we will jump into uh, configuration. So first of all, uh, when we have uh, taken to router, so whichever router you like to take, it's all right. So we have to take to switch and we have take two PC on one side and one server on the other side and now connect them with where we're gonna use this where select Ethernet and Ethernet for one so let's do this as we have learned in our previous videos so that easy just connect with where where's so as we know we cannot use crossover where while well, we don't have port in our router so let's wait port on our router the, whichever router it takes it doesn't matter just select go to the router physical and select wic 2t and turn off the router and drag it yeah and turn it on again so that's how to create port on router so let's do the same again Dragon and turn on the okay. Now use the crossover to where sorry, you have to select serial port zero 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 zero. So, all right, now we'll assign some IP addresses. So, I'm gonna say this is uh, this network would be one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero. But for this PC, uh, the IP address I am assigning is a one. Let's copy this. Let's paste it. So sorry. So two. And uh, for the gateway, so I'm gonna use the IP address one dot three. And for this network, uh, the IP address I'm going to use is 172.161.1. And sorry. So the, for the gateway, we're going to use 1.2. That's the simplest thing. For this network, I'm going to use. Uh, you can use anything. Just, just say one dot zero dot zero dot one, and on this side, just copy this, copy this, and this side we're gonna use one dot zero dot zero dot two, and okay. So now let's do the configure. Go to desktop mode, IP configuration, assign IP address for this. The IP address was let's copy this and let's do the process a bit quicker. And submit mask is taken and the default gateway is 1.3. So, okay, we are done with this. Now let's configure this. Now the IP address is 1.2. And the getaway is 1.3. Okay, for this server, let's copy this address first. For this server, configure. Let's go to desktop. IP. Seven mask. Is, okay, and the default getaway is 1.2, 172.2, 1.6, 1.3. One one so you can notice the sub mask is different from this network. So that network both are different. So now this is our network which is one dot zero dot zero dot zero. So now let's get a CLI and action CLI command. So no enable the router and now write comp. So I'm gonna write shortcut command to make this video shorter. And like int 
a uh, which is zero by zero in my case it should be different for you so you gotta be careful about you can notice here this is a zero by zero so I'm gonna use zero by zero so like enter or like IP address where is 192 one, sorry 168.1.2 and space the sub mask is 255.255.255.0 so okay no shut exit so sorry exit so now we are done with this interface now we're going to configure this interface so right we're already in configure mode so just write int as s min zero zero port number in my case is zero by zero by zero it would be different for you sometimes could be different for you so you got to be careful right, enter and write ip address so this ip address in this case is one dot zero dot one and the sub mask could be two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero for this network. And I hope you understand how it, how to calculate sub mask. So now enter and now you have to define clock rate. So as you guys can see the clock sign here, you have to assign clock rate in this interface. So right like um, clock rate so default we're using 64,000 no shut exit okay now we're down this router you can see that so now go this router PLI command so no enabled router Let's go configure mode and let's type in int fast Ethernet 0 by 0 as you can see here for 0 by 0. So, like IP address, so here, so sorry, so <laughs> this is, oh, yeah, this is this interface, the, this is fast Ethernet 0 by 0 as you can see here. So, now IP address here I have used is 172.168.16.102. So, I'm gonna write 172.16.102. And the sub mask here is 255.255.0.0. So, I have to be careful about the sub mask. Now, no shut. Shut. Exit. So now I have to in configure this interface. So I have it int zero, zero by zero by zero in my case. So enter. IP address is one dot zero dot zero dot two, and the sub mask is five five dot zero dot zero dot two to zero dot zero, and I have to define a clock rate here. So now just write no shit. shit. Okay. So now you can actually configure the net. So which uh so suppose we are sending a message from this network to this server or accessing any files from the server. So this is suppose this is the private network and this is the public network. And this is the private network again. So Whenever we are requesting something through this interface, so from this interface to this interface, this private network will be translated into public network and then transmit over here, and then this public network address will be transmitted into a private address, and then the reverse process work same as the process I have told you. So, now configure the net. So okay, so we have to tell the router which is I think inside and outside. Outside mean public, inside mean private. So 
let's type int this is an zero by zero. So we're saying that this, this interface is inside. So I'll go into this interface and we're saying IP net inside. Inside. So enter. And now it's it. So this portion is IP net inside and this is IP net outside. So I'm going to use int 0, 0 by 0 by 0. IP net outside. IP net outside. Okay. So now we're done with this. Now exit. So okay. Now we're going to say write some command which is IP net inside source static source static and the IP address of this PC so we are suppose we are sending uh, we are telling this router that for this PC the public private address is 192.168.1.1 and the public address would be 1.0.0.1 so we are going to say 192.168.1.1 and for this private address the public address is 1.0.0.1 okay I hope you understand it and we have to define a default path default root which is IP root the, I don't know the IP address or a, um, or the subnet mask either so the default we define default root as 0.0.0, .0 and also subnet for the subnet mask we define 0.0.0 .0 .0. so 0 space 0 .0 .0. 0.0.0 enter and we have also we can uh, we also will say that for this PC also the public network is 1.0.0.1 so press enter and we also have to define a default root so okay okay we are done and we let it sit from here I have to I want to show you something. If you write SA's IP net, that basically is show IP net translation. So if you write this and click enter, it will say something for this global IP net inside. This has been private and, and sorry, this is the public network and this is the private network. For, for this private network, the public network is 1.0.0.1. .0 .0 .0 .0 .1. And okay, so for this router only, so let's check we can send any message or not. So let's take a message from this PC to this server. So it's gonna show some error first, but it's gonna take some time to configure. So it's not working have to be patient and uh, it's gonna work sorry we have perhaps we have done a mistake here so so for the default route we have an Oh, sorry, man. But we have to sign the interface. We have done that, so you're gonna have to do that. This is so, all right. It's a good interface. Zero 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 zero, which is this interface. And go enter. Sorry. So start to go in configure mode. To configure mode, just write zero, zero by zero by zero, and sorry, int zero by zero by zero, not enter. So let's do this again. IP net inside. 
so I have to write IP net inside source strike and just enter and so we have to assign a default root now so default root uh, for this it's gonna we uh, want to send the message from here to this interface so this interface is also serial zero by zero by zero so you're gonna say zero by zero by zero so we could also use the IP address 1.0.0.2 so it's gonna work so now and, uh, for this okay we have signed uh, IP private public address for this address now for this 1.1 IP address so you can also have the same um, same public address so also have to define the default route and just press enter so we are done now we can exit exit and show the translation once again IP net at TR so you can see that for this for this PC 192.168.1.2 the public address is 1.0.0.1 .1. so okay so now check we can send messages from here to here now so it's still not working so you have to okay it's let's keep trying Guys, let's try again. Oh, again, so it's literally not working. So, let's then keep trying. Everything is okay. Still, we can't send data. Okay, guys, finally it's successfully transmitting the message. And thank you for watching.